Okay, so it should be recording now. As I said, uh, this is Corora. Corora is based on Fedora 26. And while I'm introducing this, I would like to compare to um, to Calculate Linux XFCE. I do like their design, uh, all the work they put in. <coughs> I must say, um, I like it. Uh, it looks good to me. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is Firefox, this is bad. You should not use Firefox, so I just, this came here with it. And I'm not using this to work with it. Um, <coughs> I would rather install Waterfox. Uh, so, but I do open this up here so that I can uh, do some basics. Oh, I download ask, okay. So what I do now is, I um, I don't believe anything, you know, Fiber, Firefox privacy notice, ha, 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 very funny. Uh, it's like Microsoft, uh, your privacy is important to us. Of course, because they want to know everything. So now we go Synology, download. to the download center here. Grand. So here we are. Now we are searching for my wonderful DS218 plus, which shows up here. Ta -da. Do not go below the plus. You will regret it. So don't do it, okay? What we've got to do here is, let's see if um, anything. Cloud Station Drive. I don't want to show you guys uh, my super secret everything uh, snapshot manager guest tools oh, cloud station evidence no 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 assistant we could try this because what I wanted to see is do the RPMs actually work so we're downloading this uh, here it goes before we do anything we just save it uh, save it in downloads and yeah, I must say, uh, from the design, I like it. I like Aurora actually, it's not a bad thing. Open with DNF Dragon thingy. I used my user here, which is called the You're a genius, the same username like on Calculate Linux. Yeah, I worked it out all by myself. It took me a long time. <laughs> Actually, it didn't. Um, installing, yes, you do that. So it should be installing now the Synology Assistant. Um, I installed, as you can see, already the add-ons. And I can just show you guys how I did it. Maybe that helps a little bit here and there. Uh, while this is installing, so what I did, that's of course a virtual box. Um, did it work? Let me see if it uh, just showed. The assistant, here it is already. Okay, that went quick. I agree. And there it is. Uh, look at this. So it works. So when you guys are not looking, I will install my cloud station, my cloud backup, and my node station just to see how it works. So you see it would even work here. So everybody who goes commercial like Ubuntu and uh, Red Hat, they are supported. <gasps> no server was found. Dang. Okay. I think I can live with that. I do have internet. Yeah, very funny, of course I have internet. I didn't run the updates yet because, as I said, this is Corora 26. And as we all know, it's based on Fedora. 26 of course and now Fedora 27 is out so my idea is does this update to Fedora 27 and if it does does it uh, kill the whole Corora nice work they put in you know uh, because I think the Corora guy did a really good job here uh, I like to have the search on the top next to the panel okay I think that should do 
See, now I've got to search on the top. I like that far more. And I like to hover over. I have the categories on the left and my everything else here to the right. That's how I set everything up. That's how I set up Calculate Linux 2. Um, a little bit confusing here. That is actually the DNF uh, package installer. And that is the file manager. Uh, works nicely too. Look at this. It's all there. I've got Discovery here. That's my little server. Oh, oh. Okay, what are you doing? Maybe I double click that could be the thing. But let's go. That usually works. Uh, maybe something's wrong with my network. It uh, doesn't matter too much. <coughs> so I wanted to show you guys. So what to do if you have a Linux distribution and you would like to install um, the VirtualBox add-ons because otherwise you have a tiny screen, you know, you have a square like this and that's your whole little thing. So in order to get this running and you see it's uh, Fedora or Corora, uh, all I did is I go here, I went to the VBox addition, which you... Um, okay, let's do it right. So here you go in device and then in that guest addition see the image, right? So I did that. Uh, by the way, I go here with Control F into my um, full screen and these things. So then I used here, I looked at it, I said, oh dear me, this is it. VBox Linux additions run. So I said copy, then well, my smart choice was actually to, <laughs> to use uh, the download folder. Drain, so I replace it to all but however it's there already so I got this done right then in my infinite wisdom I open the uh, term terminal and I type then CD downloads and then I actually said sudo space dots forward slash then vbox linux again. and yeah no I did not type that all because I'm a very lazy guy when, when it goes to typing, you know, that's why I like GUIs and things like that. So I actually just did this, uh, Zulu space dot forward slash, and then I went, clicked into it, passed, and it installs the whole thing. Job done. After that, you have to reboot, and once you reboot it, Duran, you have a full screen. Look at this. And I mean, I must say, I like what they have done here. This actually runs with Calculate Linux together, of course, on my HP 17-inch laptop. And I haven't updated it for quite some time, so I will see uh, on the laptop what it does. Uh, for you guys, um, yeah, I run it here in VirtualBox. It's no match. Uh, VirtualBox this does not give you any indication how the system will behave on your ha hardware. Um, you see, it's snappy too. It's running in a virtual box, and it's almost. I mean, I must always say that uh, that Fedora was snappy. Look at this. It's, it's faster than Ubuntu, in my opinion. Don't see? It goes faster. That's in a virtual box. So on real hardware, it's actually faster and better. So they have here little things like VLC player looks a little bit funny than uh, Messenger. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, it was nice meeting you. That should be Thunderbird. Yes, it is. Firefox do not support them if they spy on you. They do not deserve your support. And here we have Settings Manager for XFCE. However, uh, here it goes again. I can't tell you why do I like Corora so much. I like it. I used it. It was stable. Um, I can't remember what it did with my laptop, I think. Um, I can't say. Some, there was something a little hiccup. <coughs> um, but I wasn't too happy. The same happened to Solid XK, the XFCE version. And then I put Calculate on and it's doing everything, just like that. Um, again, here, here I have the uh, the knowledge stuff. It just installs because I've got the RPM files, right? Which is not nice. I would like to have that for for Gento, I was also saying Calculate Linux, right? I don't need the assistant here, no way, but I would need Calculate, uh, not Calculate, Xenology Cloud, Cloud Backup, or Xenology Drive, and stuff like that. So everything they have, I need here too. I want it. Uh, because that makes your computer work, right? Um, I would actually put that on my uh, gaming laptop. But it gets stuck. It gives me the uh, 
Software Bug uh, or the Bug uh, CPU software locked or something like that. So it just doesn't work through. You can't get it installed. Uh, there would be a workaround. I could maybe install it on on a hard drive on a different computer or laptop and then just plug it in here and, and, and boot up. Then it should do. Um, would I recommend this? I don't know, I can't say. I didn't try too much with it. Most of the things I was looking for were there. Uh, again, advantage here, they have the Synology support, which I hope will come for Gen 2 and uh, Debian 2. And yeah. So, this is it. Uh, it's of course not up to date to update. This is what they all want to update. And I will this run this update. Um, and then we will see. I have to make myself a little bit more smart about um, how it updates to Fedora 27, right? And then I would like to see if that gets shut down totally, absolutely forever, if it wrecks it or if it keeps it going. Because I think the, the Corora guys, they did a good job here. I like it. Uh, I would not run GNOME. I mean, then you get this uh, wannabe file ex uh, explorer, right? So, yeah. So I like what I see here. So if, I can't say, guys, why do I like it? I have no idea. Uh, I just do. I liked using it. It was fun to play around with. Uh, it didn't crash on me. Didn't do any funky stuff. There was a glitch or something like that, but as I said, not every distro works on every hardware. Like, I can't get it installed here on my ASUS um, Strix gaming laptop. I have no means to get it installed. You know what? Maybe just for the fun of it, I'll we'll have to open Firefox again. Ooh, be careful, you guys. Um, I don't think he has a forum, the guy who does. Yeah, if I one day I learn typing, you know, I go in a course and then I learn typing. <laughs> Engage, Duran, or support. But I think they're asking for support instead of giving support, right? Find a few suggestions for Corona Linux. Okay, 25 to 60 upgrade issues. Sudo DNF refresh system upgrade download release server 26. A lot of things. Well, I think you do just the same thing here with uh, 27. Um, now, this can happen with third party repositories, uh, but that's not a big deal. You would have to add it on. Uh, but that's what I'm saying, you know, with Fedora, you have that every year. Every year, you have to go through a a process like that to get that uh, updated with Calculate Linux, it's a rolling release, it's, but it's not as sensitive and easily break it breaking like Arch, right? Um, so, with Calculate Linux, I haven't had the trouble having said this. I booted up my old uh, 17 inch HP Pavilion laptop and I went into my Calculate Linux uh, install. And I updated with CL-update my system. I got some unmer unmerged errors, so it couldn't do something. And I will have a closer look later uh, what it's really doing or what it isn't doing. And why is it not doing it? No, but so <laughs> no kidding. Just in case. Um, how come I can't get... Uh -huh. Ah, here it is. Let's see, I haven't used it for some time. Ooh. Here, Red Hat, you see, Fedora project, that's all where it comes from. Uh, I can't really say. I liked it, it worked, it did a good job to me. Um, yeah, that's something what I would also recommend for people, I would say, you know, to me it's, it's a good release, I haven't had trouble. Uh, it's just is it wife friendly? He, yeah, not really, because you have to update. Every year you have to update and you might just break your system with that update. And then something might not work. 
So if you have a wife or a girlfriend, you are up for something. So no, I would not call this uh, girlfriend or wife friendly. This is it's too fragile. So you can't really uh, no, not girlfriend. You can give that to somebody who is a user who can use sometimes the uh, terminal and you can guide them through to do some little things or they can watch my super brilliant genius YouTube videos where you get to see all my secret uh, tips and terminal commands which help you through some obstacles in life which I didn't really invent most of them are just uh, some things I invented myself uh, some tips and tricks but most of them I got from other people so that's why this channel is here it's a giving back to the community I took now I give right um, yeah I hope the sound is okay this time I know I had this church sound but <laughs> one day one day when I have the real money coming in then I get a nice microphone I actually believe this is all depending on my little uh, gaming laptop here it's a little bit funky um, but that's what it is. I bought it. Uh, oh, that's what I have now. I can't wait to get Voyager running. I think I'll do that tomorrow. And then I can install stuff there and run things. And I think I will put Corora on there too, so that you guys have a better feeling. Uh, VirtualBox is no no means to test any system. You can have a look at the lookalike, how does it look like, but it doesn't really give you too much indication of performance. So, oh, look at this. Oh, fill it open. You, you got to mount this, right? It has to go in F stop in order to open this. So, but I can un yeah, kick that out. That's my shared folder, SF underscore VM shared. Uh, maybe I'll make a video too how to mount these things in your F, F step. It's not as easy as in uh, Windows. Uh, Windows just does it, but under no circumstances would I use. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm yawning. Uh, would I use Windows? Uh, rather not. Oh, no, it clicked this again. So yeah, however, guys, I this is Corora. That's how it looks like. Uh, it does have some... Where are the desktop settings? It has uh, some good or nice... Uh, look at this. Some very nice screenshots, which I like. That looks nice too. Kind of funky. Don't throw a stone in the water because the whole thing is gone. That looks good. That looks nice to me too. Yeah. I kind of miss England for some reason. Can't tell why, but uh, I miss it. Grand. Uh, that's a drop. So yeah, <coughs> I like I like the selection of. Um, Screen savers, you know, they're very nice, they're good looking. As I said, the theming is done very nice too. So, this is Corora. Yes, you can make everything transparent, that's what you usually do. The first thing I do is I go to the panel preference, then I go in appearance, and then alpha. That's what I do. I don't want to have anything there. You see, that's good enough to me. And usually I would like to have this transparent too, but I just don't do that for now. Um, yeah, what can I say? This system, Corora here, didn't give me any hassle. But as you can see, time has gone by. It's not anymore 26, now it's 27. Will I experience trouble when I update this? I will update this here on the uh, virtual box. Uh, I think it will be a good thing, and I think we should do that together. I have to do an extra video to show you guys how to update it and what's going to happen and that might just be again the deal breaker and as I said is it girlfriend friendly no is it wife friendly nope it is uh, asking for trouble if you have a girlfriend or wife and put it on their laptop on her laptop or computer because in the moment you update this <sighs> now let's say if you have Fedora 27 give it two months before it is matured so that it works, the most bugs are out, and but then it just runs for another ten months, right? And then the next one comes, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So mm, it's a little bit up, much updating uh, for us people who like to play around with stuff. It's okay, 
But for girlfriend and wives, no, 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 no. You can't do that. That is uh, a kill shot. Yeah. Um, it's too much hassle. You can't do that. For wives and girlfriends, you need something reliable, which just works. Otherwise, you will never hear the end of it. So, having said all this, I will shut this down now. I didn't run a single update. I just installed it. Uh, I shut it down now in my virtual box, which we have installed together, which is nice, right? Oh, here it is. Look, I click that away. Which we have installed last time, right? Here it is. I showed you guys how to install virtual box, and no, yes, I wasn't really the super smart guy. Uh, I got that from the Calculate uh, forum. I asked which one to install, and then somebody answered and gave me all the nice things. Uh, to command line stuff and I put that in the video for how to install VirtualBox in Calculate Linux or Gento. So here's the update. If you remember, we had trouble with the update. So what we do now is we fire it up, uh, see what it does. That's what I had last time. So it didn't pull anything out. Uh, there was no process to break, at least not visible to me. And then one guy said on the Calculate forum, said, oh, I, re I had the same error. I rebooted. Everything was good. Uh, mine is not, you see, it's nothing showing. So, is that a deal breaker? Nah, not really. I trust that Calculate Linux uh, developers will fix this. Uh, in between, I would just go here the, the normal, typical me, under user, uh, super user or root. And my super secret password, put that in, then I say CLM. A CL dash update. See, that's doing nothing. Usually, this, this starts crashing and vanishes since I had that update error. This is not something that makes me too happy, but it's nothing, not a deal breaker. It's not making your system unstable or anything else. So, you see an update. That's what I do here. Uh, it might be in conflict now with this, like in Debian or Ubuntu will have somebody else is using the package management, uh, the database is locked. So that could be the case here, that two things are fighting. So let's click this away. That will now say, do you really want to close it? Yes, I want to. Goodbye. So now this could run, if it gets access. Um, yeah, and as I said, I like the Corora version of Fedora, because Fedora I know, I mean, who wants GNOME, honestly? No, don't write in the comments, you want GNOME or GNOME, or MATE, those people who lived in England, like like us, we know that it's not MATE, it's MATE. So, there you, yeah, there you go, now you know even how to pronounce uh, the MATE desktop. It's MATE, because I said so. So if somebody ever questions that you say, it's called MATE, and they say, no, it's not true, they can, you can say, no, listen up, Dirk said it's the real thing. So. Yeah, you win every battle with that. That's for sure, I guess. See, that took some time too, but that was because the database was locked. I'm pretty pretty sure of that. Because uh, the updater didn't do anything except blocking stuff. Oh, no, no. <gasps> Look at this. It's doing something now. Wait for another update to come to be complete. You, you see, now we have something here. That is good. Um, I will not continue with this update. I want to see now what the updater does. Sorry guys, this video gets a little bit longer. It was supposed to be just about uh, Corora, which I really just hardly introduced to you guys. Um, I will make another video purely about this Corora, and I will go through a little bit what they did, this, uh, this Corora guys. I personally like what they did. The seeming is nice. As I said, I like it. Why do I like it? I have no idea. Well, don't ask me, how would I know? But ask my wife, she knows what I do, what I think, <laughs> even better than I do. <laughs> did I ever mention that before I was married, I did not know that you could put milk the wrong way in the fridge? Yeah. So, go, good, I'm married, so now I know. So now here I say no. No! Never say this to your wife. See, now I got out of here, and now I want to see, wait, look at this! Thinking gentle. That might have just fixed it here, guys. See? Now we close this. Not really. I 
might have to run it, so I'm a lazy guy. I, I think I mentioned this. Then I would just open it up and press my arrow key to the up, and then it gets my CL update again, and I push the button. But it looks like it's working now. So, I like it. See? It's back on, right on. It wasn't a deal breaker, but I like to use this little thing. You know, developer put their efforts in it to make it work. And, yeah, you can use a terminal, but as I said, you see, I have to learn typing first before <laughs> before I can use <laughs> the terminal. And I don't know if, if typing is really worth the efforts to get there, you know, if I can use GUIs. So, calculate independencies. That looks good to me for now. Uh, it found the server, the update server, did something. Otherwise, it couldn't calculate dependencies if it wouldn't have found anything. Ah, uh, look at this! Yeah, we're up and running again. So, Chromium gets updated. But you see, the good thing is we will have a binary, so we don't have to sit here forever until Chromium gets uh, compiled. Because that can actually take some time. Um, yeah. So, no, we don't want that. That's why we use Calculate Linux. We have the real gentle feeling with it. We have the glow around your hardware. And yeah, we don't have the hassle that we have to compile everything and sit here for hours. Yes, I cost you guys some time because I did not yeah, know that I continue here with the update. Uh, but once it shows up, so why not continue, right? Um, I hope the sound is okay and we are out of the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one day I have a proper microphone and all these things. Uh, talking about all these things, will I ever monetize this channel? No, 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 don't do it. Because then you would see Josh every, I don't know, five to ten minutes. And for every video you watch, you will see Josh telling you uh, about all his life and uh, how he likes Linux. <coughs> no, we don't need Josh. Um, yeah, I would like to have a KVM switch, but it's it's all these little things, you know, it's hundred dollar here for a DVI K, uh, KVM switch, then hundred dollar there for a microphone, a good one of course, then you need a camera, a webcam, blah blah blah. So it all will take time, and I think time we have, right? Not time to sit in front of a computer for compiling, but you see, fetching binary packages, fetching binary packages. No compiling like crazy. Uh, yes, it takes a little bit longer than Arch, for example. As I said, Arch is not bad, but Arch is really for people who do this like a hobby. It's not that they master race, like they try to tell people. Uh, Arch is a Linux operating system like anybody, uh, any uh, any other system, except it's super bleeding edge, and with super bleeding edge you get super quick, fast problems, and you have to fix them. When, when they happen. So instead of working on what you wanted to work with, after the update on your computer, you have to fix it first. So my recommendation is always have two different base distros running on your computer. So let's say you use Calculate Linux as your main program. Have Corora, Ubuntu, Xubuntu, anything like that as a second one, just in case if an update kills something, you're not without a computer. So you just go up, boot up, do you think what you want to do, and then you Google around and check what happened, or you check Dirk's channel, you know, DZ uh, Me Linux, and then you you check what went wrong and how to fix it. Yeah, and if Dirk hasn't made a video like that, you just have to write in the comments and say, Dirk, I have a problem, where is the fix for it, right? And I will do everything I can do to, to show the fix, if I can recreate the errors. Otherwise, I can find maybe some solutions. All right, but you see, guys, it's working. Yay, look at this. That's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, that's nice. You see, I like it. That's when uh, my heart jumps for joy here. You know? I just click on the little red orange arrow and I get my little update, I push the button and now later it will say unmerge and everything is fine. That's how I want it. Yes, you see, calculate Linux, fix itself, no worries. And it didn't, uh, it didn't put my system on hold, so I could still work with it, I didn't have any trouble to do it. Uh, by the way, 
I installed simple screen recorder. Um, doesn't do anything better because I have trouble. I can record my voice or I can re record uh, desktop background. So the noise from the, like if I watch a YouTube video, then I can uh, record I uh, record either this this or my own voice. There's a trick I figured it out um, how I could do it to record both, but then I wouldn't be able to hear what's on the desktop, which is funky. Updating preserved libraries, updating configuration file system, update finished. Mm. I hope it unlatched. I can't see it yet. I will keep an eye on this. But you see, Duran! Da 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 da! It's gone. Security is established. It's all good now. No more situation in R5, guys. It's doing all good. Yeah, this is in a moment what annoys me very much that I have a Synology box which does not support in a moment uh, Gentle. And I need to have my Synology Node Station running because it's just brilliant. I showed that in a few videos. And I like Cloud Station Backup and uh, together with Synology Cloud Station Drive. It's really neat. But I would need it to run on Gentle because I would like to use Calculate Linux as my main driver. Uh, yes, in a moment I have tons of different uh, things running here. I got Arch, I played around with it, I might just kick it out. I might leave it, I don't know. Mint XFCE, as I said, the theming is weird. Uh, this writing gets small and stuff. System itself is, yeah, Ubuntu based, so it's kind of reliable. Uh, it's not a bad system. Uh, has the advantage that, it, that I can install my Xenology clients. Uh, but the theming, Linux Mint XFCE, they didn't do a good job in theming and creating that thing. Uh, they put all the tools in, so it, of course it runs, it's doing its thing. I uh, haven't had the installation trouble like I had with Ubuntu. That was uh, kind of a challenge, you know, a rough ride. Um, still, I'm not too happy. Uh, Cinnamon hasn't had it. Cinnamon was just uh, very nice themed. Everything was just uh, the way it is, is supposed to be, right? Um, yeah, so that's my little home survey. Oh, you know, you see my secret IP range. <gasps> what are I going to do? So, however, <coughs> this is it. We had a quick look at Corora. We used our fresh installed uh, VirtualBox. We even installed the uh, VirtualBox add-ons, which is great, right? I mean, yeah, no hassle. People say, oh yeah, but you have to do this, and in Ubuntu it does everything by itself. Yeah, we haven't really had much to do. The only thing we did extra was add ourselves to the uh, VBox user groups group. And that was it, right? And then we rebooted and drain, we had VirtualBox running. Now I installed Corora on it. Uh, no trouble there. Then I installed the VirtualBox add-ons in Corolla. No trouble there. And now we can, yeah, we can keep going. I will introduce some of these things which I can't get installed here on my gaming laptop uh, in a VirtualBox. But don't take it as uh, it's no really no means by no means it ex shows or demonstrates how this uh, distribution would run on your hardware. Every hardware is a little bit different, and you get different hiccups. So, no distro is working on all computers, with my experience. Having said this, Calculate Linux, I haven't found a computer where it didn't run yet. So, that's why I'm so impressed. On every computer, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four laptops, and it worked on all four without any trouble. And uh, what the oldest laptop is from 2005, the latest here is my gaming laptop, where it's running on now. Uh, yeah, my genius H top thing. You see, here's my my stuff. That's how it looks like when I record, and I record in 1080 with 60 frames. Yeah, no, not 60. No, that was a lie. Not 60 frames. And it's nice 7 CPU. That's pretty busy, right? But that's how it is. Okay, I yeah, I will keep this video as short as possible. That sounds good, right? Polit I could go into politics as short as possible. Um, yeah, so you see, we didn't need it. We didn't need the terminal update. 
So let me know, guys, what you saw on, on Corora Linux. Did you like it? Is it okay, or what would you think? I personally like it. Uh, I find it pretty cool. Um, it is snappy. I must say that it's just uh, it is not girlfriend or wife friendly. So do not make this mistake. Abort mission. Do not put that on your wife's or girlfriend's laptop. Except you want to say goodbye to them. Or you will never hear the end of it if she or if they encounter an error. This will never stop. You know that. After 20 years, you will still hear. And you put uh, Fedora 26 on my computer. And when you updated, I could not use my paint program. Yeah, and that is the end of the world. Okay, now you know, uh, Corora, it's a good distro, I like it. Um, I think you have to have some skills, uh, very difficult skills like uh, watching my videos, copy-paste stuff in command lines and push the enter button and then it would work most of the time. Uh, that's uh, at least how it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, Good, but this is it now. You see, I'm running out of stuff. It's 23 27. Sandman was here, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Um, yeah, I'm happy, man. Did you see this? My uh, graphical updater appeared and worked again. That's how the cookie crumbles. Yay, that's good. I like it. And yeah, you saw that VirtualBox is not just something we install to install it because it's useless, it's actually a good thing. And, yeah, I mean, yes, I could use VirtualBox and a different distro to use my Synology node. Uh, even the cloud thing, I could do that once I got the shared folder uh, operating. But I always would have to run it in order to get the cloud synced and to have access to my Synology node station. And the cloud backup wouldn't work. So, but... Not how the cookie crumbles. So Synology really has to do something here. Get that done, Synology. Build the, your packages, either as app image, somehow that's their work. Uh, Snapper, Docker, whatever, make it work for any, uh, for all the other Linux distributions too, so that we can still have our freedom with Synology. If it's not possible, then we will see. There is, maybe Kinona picks that up. Um, there's lots of competition out which would like to have our business and our best, which is our money. Oh, did I say that out loud? Um, yeah. Now you see, dang, I like that. That's not the delay like I have seen in, uh, in XFCE from Subuntu. You see, that's you click it and boom. And I must say, Corora in the virtual box did almost the same, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's tiny things, but I think these tiny things are influencing our subconscious, and that makes them the decision either I like it or I don't, for what reason soever. So, this is just what it is, right? Okay, guys, I spoke a lot and enough, I think, for tonight. At least I got to have to get my spoonful of whatever this is. Um, yeah, and uh, go and listen to the mattress of my bed, right? Okay, guys, I hope you liked that video. It's a little bit long. Uh, things to remember is maybe uh, how to install VirtualBox add-ons. Uh, that Corora is a nice distro. I like it. I can just say I like it. Uh, there will be a video, maybe the next video, we will update this, and then we will see if it gets totally killed, because there is no Corora 27 out yet. Um, most likely, I will just set the beauty on a VirtualBox. I'll make a snapshot. And once we have killed it, most likely it, I think it will be killed or it will just overwrite all the nice theming the Corora team did. And in my opinion, then it's destroyed, right? So we will see. And then we wait. Maybe there's a Corora 27 coming out. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I think that guy should keep doing the good work. He did a good job with that distro. Um, it's, a, it's like... Yeah... I would almost think worse than Calculate. Calculate is at least known, people know it. Uh, yeah, and I mean, as I said, Calculate Linux doesn't even have the trouble uh, which you have when you're on Fedora based. 
these every year update and bug fixes for the first two to three months until you have a running system and then nine months later you have to go through again that's not happening with Calculate Linux it's a rolling distro uh, well maintained in my opinion uh, didn't give me any hassle no trouble recommendable uh, girlfriend safe and wife safe yes you can uh, except that girlfriend has a knowledge box then we have to wait we have to make pressure to get this done somehow there will be a solution it will come out I cannot imagine it wouldn't okay this is it I think you heard my thoughts now 150 times I'm almost like my wife repeating everything <laughs> over and over again um, okay guys this is it now I will now switch it off say good night to you guys hope you like the video um, let me know if you have something maybe which is rare and you would like to see it in for now in a virtual box so that I can compare with my opinion so this is purely my opinion right and my feel how I feel with these distros um, when I compare them to calculate am I biased it looks like it right it sounds like it but that's just because I had a good experience and it keeps going to be a good experience the only bad thing in the moment is uh, technology I bought that box I want to explore the uh, application and performance it brings but I can't do it in a moment in Calculate Linux which is a nightmare which is so sad so I put Ubuntu on for my gaming stuff and for the Synology stuff um, I use XFCE there too so it's not such a big change um, it's just the little things and I think that's where the subconscious kicks in right which says oh that's not the real thing that's not the real thing so yeah, so you see cloud station and data. That's a big, big bunch of data. That's an 8 terabyte drive, which is in reality 7.2 or something, and 4 is left. Yeah. So, this is it, guys. Now I switch off and will send this, and I will call this something like uh, Calculate Linux vs uh, Corora. Is it girlfriend friendly? Yeah, and no, it's not. Absolutely not. Do not, do not risk that. Abort mission. Have a good night, guys. See you later. Bye bye. Yeah. For some reason, I played around with OBS. See, F Shift F6 should switch it off. It doesn't. Um, I played around with the sound recordings and stuff like that. You see, that has changed. But I don't know. That's why I downloaded um, Simple Screen Recorder. But we'll see. I will see what I do. Maybe I'll try next time just simple screen recorder, see what it does. Um, I also could use, instead of the jack, I could use my uh, USB connector for my hat to the microphone. That might actually do something. That might allow me then uh, to record desktop audio too. I'll play around. Okay, guys, stay tuned. I hope you're not giving up on me. Uh, let me know what you think. If you like it, what you don't like. Uh, if you don't like something, doesn't matter, like my video anyway. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I better go now. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.